Hello everybody, welcome to Bunker Punks. Bunker Punks is a roguelite inspired first person shooter set in the dystopian future. You control a group of revolutionaries, raiding corporate strongholds for supplies, weapons, and armor. Customize your bunker, strengthen your gang, and overthrow the corporate government. This game is going to be coming out on March 30th, which is becoming a very popular release date for games these days. We've got a few coming out. That is brought to you by Ninja Robot Dinosaur, which is a crazy name. This game is really interesting. It's got these old school style uh, first person shoot 'em ups, kind of the twitch shooter genre mixed with light base building and RPG elements and roguelite elements, all those things together. We're gonna jump right into a new game. Yep, I've I played this for about half an hour already and it's pretty darn fun. Uh, so we have two punks to start. We have Molly Pop and with Texas. Dallas Beach. Let's do this. I want to be Dallas, but they have a lot of different punks you can unlock throughout the game. So they have different health and different I'm speeds, game. and different Let's proficiencies with just different weapons. He has a uh, proficiency towards shotguns. He's a shotgun expert, which I is probably my favorite gun in the game that I've come across so far. But we're gonna jump right in to Bunker Punks, which is a very odd name. Well, it's not odd. It's a good name. It's just one of the things where it's a little difficult to say. Let's get this started. So here you go. You got the old school. I'm sure it wasn't the first one, but I immediately think of Doom when I play this. Or maybe, um, I personally never played Doom. What's this guy right there? So I'm more inclined to think of uh, Star Wars Dark Forces. I really get the same feel from that. And Star Wars Dark Forces was awesome. Okay. That game was one of my favorite games in my childhood. But the whole point of this game is you're breaking into... It's a post-apocalyptic wasteland, and you're breaking into various bunkers. So you can imagine... Uh, we're raiders, as opposed to the normal good guys that you play in these sort of post-apocalyptic environments. We're the ones that are breaking in and raiding them. So far, I've only come across uh, robots. Uh, so I'm not sure if they'll expand on that in the game. Oh. But there are different ones. Like, those guys will try and ram you explode. These guys, I think, just try and ram you in, like, melee attack. And then earlier, we had those flying drone shooting ones. No broadcasting. Uh, there's different things, like explosive barrels, boxes. Ooh, these ones have uh, items in them. So over there, we just picked up health. You see on the bottom left, we have our health, 68 out of 80, and then I think those are knee pads we picked up, as well as our shields, and on the right we have our shotgun with his proficiency. Uh, you do have two weapon slots, so we'll try and- oh, that's body armor. Okay, we'll go grab that. Okay. There you go. And some ammo there and there. Oh, it's a riot jacket. Okay, cool. Let's oh, there we go. <laughs> so that's the last aspect of the Twitch shooter. It's real fast and real sudden you have to react. Those quick reaction times. Oh, here we go. Here we get this guy. This, this nerd. See, when you shoot him, he's a little bit stronger. Ah, he got me. Okay. Pick that up. So, uh, when you pick up other weapons, you just get the ammo from them. Haven't come across any other weapons yet. Blow that up. Alright, and head to the next floor. So, every one will end with the elevator as a summary of the floor. So, there are two floors in this bunker. Took a little bit of damage, but we got some good armor, so that's pretty decent. We got knee pads and the jacket or right. I think I said it was right jacket. Let's get this. Let's get this. Second floor logistics. Oh, I see him. See, they they come right towards you and they try and blow up. So you gotta take them out before they can do that. Though so sometimes you can actually use it to your advantage. If I can get him to come stand next to me. Or get that one of those uh, suicide guys to come over there. Oh. Ah. Okay, and the pickups do fade after a while. Those green things are actually credits, which we'll later use to upgrade our bases. I mean, oh my god, I am not shooting well today. There we go, two shots, two kills, not bad. Let's grab those credits. The difficulty of games like this is that it's a little difficult to watch. Ooh, what do we got here? Baseball bat, alright, we'll pick that up. Wait, don't we get two weapon slots? Oh, do we only have one weapon slot right now? Okay, maybe that's something I unlock later. I guess we only have one weapon slot right now. Okay. So yeah, the scratch what I said earlier, you don't get that till later. It's real soon though, because I think I got that. I remember using two weapons on like my second bunker or something. Maybe the third one. Ooh, rocket launcher. Let's just grab this and use this for this part of this room. I'm getting lost. There we go. Come here, you bastards. <laughs> uh, it's a little less accurate. Well, I'm less accurate with it just because I can't aim very well. That's why I kind of prefer the shotgun. Especially with these guys. Okay, we got an assault rifle right here. We're going to grab that. 
And then we'll probably go back and get the shotgun. Uh, the combo I've really been liking is the assault rifle and the uh, yeah. shotgun at the same time. Once we eventually have the two weapon slots. Is it through here? I left my shotgun. There it is. Get sick of that. And our health's down to 56 and 80. So it's not bad. Blow that up. <laughs> and there we go. I finished it up the first bunker. Uh, we got 60 credits and 50... I don't remember what those are. So we're going to return to HQ right now. And so this will take us to the sort of management screen, which is apparently below a gas station. So it's, Oh, it's tech. Okay, so these are things you spend on building your raider base. Over here, uh, we only have two unlocks. So we're going to build the firing range and the infirmary. And we're going to do... um Shotgun type weapons. Okay, yeah, we'll increase that. So this is kind of a firing range where you can increase your... A weapon proficiency, and then over here, we'll put increases max health of all punks. Punks heal, and they can do combo attacks. Um, let's increase our maximum health right now. That way, we won't use all of our credits. Pistols and handguns. I haven't been using those. We'll just save that. And tech, we don't have any uh, options to use that quite yet, so we can just continue to save that and select our next raiding target. So there's our little gas station. And it shows the different types of floors. So you have security, logistics, logistics, medical. And they get increasingly more difficult as you go on. Let's see. What, did we already raid one of these? Garrison. Hmm. All right. Well, let's just go with this one. Why not? Another two floors to get through. Keep your clips let's full. This yep, yep, yep. All right. Get to the third floor. Got him. Got him. Ah, I missed the shot. Dang it. Kinda need to conserve my ammo. There you go. A little stinker. Blow those up, grab those credits. What we got here? Okay, now we have the two weapons slot. Okay. Oh. Gotta snipe those guys. Let's go for a multi shot here or some sort of combo. Ah. Yeah, they can't really shoot. They kind of freeze up. Let's just get it. I need to get into this room. I don't like being in this hallway. Kind of standing still. Okay, he got me. Oh, there's a suicide bot. Ah, that was dumb. That was a bad idea. Oh, nice. Got a helmet. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Okay, this thing's actually pretty powerful. It's taking these guys out in one hit. Or, I guess, two hits. If I go for the headshot. Which is, I'm assuming that little red dot. Not much of a head. Okay, some more pistol ammo. Has better range though, so. Oh crap, where'd they come? Oh! Jeez. Okay, I got stuck up on him. Okay, and let's go in here. Okay, we got suicide bots. Okay, stop it. Uh, so far, I haven't seen any enemies that I haven't come across yet. They seem to be relatively. Repetitive, but then again, I've only done a few bunkers. There we go, completed the first floor. Do we want the rocket launcher? Yeah, let's go with the rocket launcher. Just seems like it'd be a little bit more fun than a pistol. Next floor, we only got 10 credits from that floor, that's not great. Dang. Okay, we're going to the medical floor. Hmm. Oh, lettuce indeed. <laughs> that seemed unnecessary. Oh, I actually killed both of them, so that works. How did that miss? That was right on him. Come on. Okay, got it. Ah! See, that's the problem. Just not picking up credits fast enough. Okay, nothing there. What is this? Right, a skate hoodie? Hmm. Nah, let's keep this. I'll, I'll take the armor over the hoodie. Call me crazy, but I think that uh, might work a little better. Especially when people are tr constantly trying to murder me and kill me. Come on, pick up the ammo. There you go. Stupid get out of my way, box. Ooh, health. Thank you, box. I'm sorry I spoke ill of you. Ow. Ow, I'm stuck in the box. That rocket launcher should have done way more damage. So I guess I aimed in between them. Oh my god. Shit, there we go. Ah, why am I sucking so much? These guys are too skinny. Damn. Shotgun ammo. Health! Take that. There you go. 
That's how you deal with them. So those guys do seem to be giving me the most trouble. Ah, double combo. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Health. Health. Yes. Thank you very much. Woohoo. Thank you. Another entire bunker cleared. Not bad. Only got 70 credits out of that. Uh, I don't think there's much we can do with that right now. Um, yeah, let's do this one. Let's do um a chance to heal when using combos. Ooh, he has a backstory. Age 24 and he's 6'1". That's my age, but I'm actually 5 inches taller than him. <laughs> After losing his sister to Pharaoh Corporate Security, Dallas joined the zero-sum game to make sure nobody has to go through that loss again. Alright, so he's got a grudge against uh, the... The Pharaoh Corporate. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the Cobra Headquarters right there. Let's see. Um. Let's skip to this one. Probably not a great idea. Okay. Oh no, bring it back. Put this back. Okay, so you actually get to choose. So these are the various things we collect and bring back to the base. So you can choose what you want to do. Uh, don't have any shoes, I guess. Hmm. Right, jacket. Oh, that's what we want. Okay. Cool. Start the run. Let's do it. Research medical and security. I'm assuming the third floor will be the most difficulty. Most difficult. I don't think so, punks. I don't think so. There you go. Ooh, and we got boots. Work boots. Nice. Shabam. I missed. I missed. Oh, I didn't miss, I guess. Oops. <laughs> we got a nice combo, though. And it healed us three. That's awesome. Even though we had full health. Whatever. Okay, what do we got here? Shotgun. Wanted. Mollipop. Hey! That was the other girl we could have been. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ah! Scary dude in the jar. Come here, you. And this one right there. Ah, I missed. Ah, I missed again. Ah, I missed again. There we go. Must pick up ammo. Shotgun ammo. Oh, jeez, what the heck is that thing? Well, that's a new one. <laughs> oh, okay, we're just gonna stop screwing around and use our rocket launcher on him. Ah, okay, so he's melee attack. What is this guy? Jeez. Leave me alone. Ah, crap. Stuck in the corner. Stuck in the corner. Oh, that wasn't good. What? Oh, now someone's shooting at me. One of these jerks. Okay, so some sort of, like, uh, me mechanoid ah! hound, like he was down on all fours. Which, which way do we come from? Did we come from here? Oh, no, certainly did not. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dropped right down on my face. Oh, okay, that, let's get these credits. Ah, they're already gone. Okay, pick up those. Assault rifle. Nah, I probably should just keep this. There was another direction. Was oh, there a map we can do? No. Okay, let's go in here, try and get some more health. Just don't want to take any damage while we're looking for health. Here we go. Perfect. And a motorcycle helmet, huh? Let's see, let's do plus 10 armor. Yeah, but this helmet really gives us efficiency with a shotgun. Uh, we'll take it with us. Oh, jeez, okay. Back! I'm warning you! God damn it. <laughs> Ammo. And tech, okay. Hmm. I feel like his map layups are gonna get a little difficult to follow eventually. Oh no, it was right here, right? Where the hell are we going? No, this is where we came from. Okay, so we go this way. And take a right. Yes, okay, there's the elevator. Cleared. Alright, one floor down. Two more to go. And our health's not looking great. There's that stupid little mechanoid hound thing that was chasing me. Okay, what the hell are these things? I don't even know. Right, they're just like 
turrets. They don't really seem to be moving. Okay. Uh, the, the one one thing I have to say, that it's a little difficult to tell if you're picking something up or if you're being shot. <laughs> I mean, oh my god! Are you kidding me? God! Ah, screw you guys! Okay, this is not going well. Damn it! Jack nab it! Sir, show yourself! Okay, we're gonna try and hit that guy. I don't even know what I just got hit with. Or by. Okay, we really need some health. I said health, not ammo. Aha! Yes. Okay, oh, they gave us three. That's not that great. There we go. Back to the 24. See, I can't really do anything at that range. Pistol. I see you. Sneaking up on me. Ah, crap. There's ammo there, but I missed. Credits. Okay, one on one, those guys aren't bad, because if you can hit them, they will freeze. Just gotta make sure no one sneaks up on you while you're hitting them. Get some tech. Okay. Almost like these guys are cyborgs or something. I don't even know what they're supposed to be. Oh, whoa. I see you shaking that thing. Oh. Shotgun ammo, good. And health, good. Ah, God. Okay, and there's one of those hound things. We're going to retreat. Fall back, fall back. Come here. Got him. Okay, we got hit a little bit. And again. Okay, see, we got a little bit of health from doing the, the combo right there. Okay, elevator's open. Got some rocket launcher ammo. We got 15 shots. And we only have 20 health. Ugh. Alright, let's go. Uh, hopefully with the rocket launcher we'll be able to get some combos. Cause it does do a good bit of splash damage. So, if I see any groups, that's let's what I'll have to do. This. Ow. Pick that up. Pick it up. There's health right there. Health. Ah. Well. <laughs> oh, that really hurt. That really hurt. That really hurt. Oh, man. Okay, we're down to nine. Are you kidding me? In the very first room. This is, they're sitting right there waiting for me. Okay, got one of them. What? What am I standing up against? Jeez, there was something like on the ground in my way. Oh, it's a freaking barrel. Are you kidding me? Okay, I was trying to blow it up. <laughs> Dang it! Oh, okay, well what happens if you die? I've never died in this campaign before. The Wasteland Merchant Caravan visions merchants to unlock new punks, weapons, armors, and rooms for your bunker. Got it. Uh... Let's take your hat. And a punk, sure. Oh, does this happen after you die? Or what's going on here? Start a new game. Okay, yeah, so we got Cleopatra Rex. Alright. Cool. Oh, I think it's pretty fun. I think we'll do like a short series on this game. Maybe just like a couple of episodes, guys. But leave a like if you did enjoy and want to see more Bunker Punks in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.